Hey Crazy Cause Live back at you again with another video. I hope you have been enjoying me. I'm trying to post more as you guys can see. This will be my third video I've posted since I've been back from break. So let's get into it with today's topic of discussion. I'm going to try to do some more vlogs and stuff and bring you along with my friends. But here it is. My first love story some people's asked me to do this video on my first love story so we're going to get into it i'm doing it completely from memory so i might forget a couple things but and me and the guy just so you guys know we do still talk i'm best friends with his sister so i still do talk to him there's no hate between our relationship sometimes I wonder what it'd be like if I would have stayed back in my where I was dating this boy because we broke up because I left so let's get into the story and before you before we started to go anywhere please stop go down below subscribe if you haven't already like this video okay now we can get into the story. So this is my first love story. Um, I'm not going to mention his name just for reference. So I'm going to call him Bob. I was 15 I think. It was my sophomore year of high school so I was 15. It was his freshman year of high school so he was 14. If that makes sense. Anyways, um, it was on over Thanksgiving break. Bob started stalking me on Facebook, kind of. It wasn't really stalking me, but he was commenting on all my posts. He was saying how beautiful I am. And that kind of got us into talking. And we were talking. And I think that it was right after Thanksgiving. So I think that Friday night uh, during break, he came over to my house. We didn't really live too far away. It was walking distance. And if anyone knows my family, my dad's part of the family, I'm not allowed to do anything unless I have siblings. They're very overprotective. They, I will give you guys a story on why I moved out of my dad's at 17 soon. But they were very overprotective. Um, I was surprised they let this boy come over to my house, Bob. And so we went on a walk. Because I lived in Huntington. So it was kind of like a busy area. But I had to take, I think, two or three of my siblings out of a bunch of them. And we were talking and stuff. I don't know if we were dating yet or not. I'm trying to do this out of memory, guys. I'm sorry. But I knew we were talking and stuff. We were getting to know each other. And... I really like this boy and he really liked me so I know so he started spending more and more time over at my house my parents would not let me go to his house like I said my parents were very strict so he spent a lot of time at my house with me and my siblings because my siblings always had to be in the room if we were together and they would get mad if me and him was in a room alone together. So, somebody was always in the room with us. Um, but we made a lot of memories together. I know our first date, a lot of people work hard and stuff. But we were still not 16, so we couldn't really work. But I remember him mowing grass all day to earn $20 and we went to McDonald's and just hung out and we actually didn't have to take any of my siblings which was really nice because it, we could just spend the time on me and him instead of having to watch my siblings and all this other stuff which was really nice and I still remember it to this day like I know we're not together but a lot of people still remember their first love so yeah and I know we went, we were dating, and 
I went to church with him. We hung out a lot. Um, his little nephews came over to my house and played a lot. His sister would come over to my house stay the night. He would stay at my house until late a lot of the nights. And it was, at that time I was young. I thought he was the one. But we made it to, um, we went to military ball together. We went to prom together my junior year. Um, I don't think we went to homecoming together because I didn't go to homecoming my sophomore year. Or was it my sophomore year? Yeah, and then, anyways. But we got to the 11th month mark. Me, young. I've never been able to make a commitment in my life, been hurt by so many people. I broke it off. And then I started hoeing around talking to other guys and stuff, not even thinking of how I made him feel because I genuinely love this boy, Bob. And I still feel so bad for doing that, but things happen. Me and his sister got in a big fight. We. He, she almost fought me in school and I was a little wuss and I ran to the guidance counselor's office because I don't fight people. I don't like confrontation. Never have because that's just me and I'm very weird. But I really don't like fighting people so and then I almost got a restraining order on her and I feel really bad because me and her are still best friends today and she's actually going to be coming up to my school and I'm so excited. But besides the point. I have really, I was really screwed up as a kid and I felt really bad and I got with this other boy and we dated for like two or three weeks but then once his sisters tried to fight me I broke up with him because I didn't want him in the middle of it and yeah. During the breakup, because you know I'm dumb and stupid, we had military ball. I just wanted to shoot myself. Just wanted to shoot myself. But that's besides the point. <sighs> My dad and stepmom and his mom were still talking. And they still made him come over and take pictures with me, even though we weren't dating and we weren't. It was very awkward. Really awkward. Let me tell you. And then they, then my stepmom then printed out pictures of me and him with love quotes and stuff. It was, it was a mess. It was awkward. Let me just tell you how I felt. I didn't know what to do. I cried because I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I know, right? And anyways, after military ball, military ball was in March. My birthday was in April, so it was like the end of March. We got back together. And this was my junior year. Because we dated my sophomore, like, middle of my sophomore year to my junior year. And then I ended up in, like, November, December, it was like October, I ended it, and then we had, by uh, December, before winter break, that's when his sister wanted to fight me, and then we came back January, February, and then March was military ball, they made us get pictures, took them together, and then we got back together at the end of March, and I remember, I was going through a lot at that time, I had went to school with a big bruise on the back of my leg that was a welt. It was like 16 inches deep, the nurse said. And I'll get into this with another story time about why I left my dad's house. But I was going through CPS at that time. Um, my brother had fractured my ankle in April. And then my other brother had hit the same ankle with a baseball bat. So. It was just a big mess and I was mentally unstable and I will get into that later so yes so 
I remember this day very vividly. It was right after my birthday, CPS, well it was right before my birthday when CPS was called. The school called CPS because they found the bruise on the, the back of my leg. And CPS came to the house because they wouldn't let me go to school that day for some reason. I forgot why. And um, when they took me outside and asked me a bunch of questions. I answered them honestly. Then they left. So on my birthday, it was very awkward. My stepmom and dad didn't either one wish me a happy birthday. It was like everyone forgot my birthday except my boyfriend. Bob which he came to the house and bought me like a little cake and stuff and it was so cute and a little flower and I really liked it him and his mom did and then um a few weeks later on April 30th I had secretly been texting my biological mom on my phone I downloaded like a text now app and was texting them her I was also texting my aunt because she had came and picked me up to take me up for my birthday and saw my ankle. So her and my mom had been texting and I've been texting my aunt and mom and my boyfriend at the time was texting my mom and aunt about everything going on. It was April 30th was the night that it all went downhill and I lost the love of my life for good because I wasn't, neither one of us drove so I couldn't really do a long distance relationship. We wouldn't have never seen each other. We went out with each other, so I thought it would be best if we ended it so we could still be happy. We're still friends. Sometimes I wonder what would happen if I would have stayed in Huntington, if we would still be together. But the Lord never knows. And I will do another story time on why, what happened between my dad and them. But I just know the cops came, and I moved in with my aunt and them at the age of 17. And I've been happy, and healthy ever since I've not been I've learned what life is and how life should be treated you and everything but yeah I know the love of my life story is kind of a little crazy it's a little weird I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions about it comment them and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability I did this completely off memory so some things are missing but I know me and Bob had we were in love we really hit it off. We were happy together. So, yeah. Now, if you didn't stop earlier when I told you guys to subscribe to this video, I would like it if you guys would please do so because I am very, very much loving you all and I love my fans. And if I get to 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. So, stay tuned for that. And help me get to 100 subscribers and we'll do a giveaway. So see y'all next time. Bye.